Hey, it's AJ with Garden State Greens. Want to give you a quick tour of the garden right now, uh, since it's kind of at its summer peak here uh, as we're almost into August. And so before everything goes to hell, I just wanted to capture this moment for everyone. Here's the compost bin system. I have two of the three built. Uh, right now I'm only filling up the first, but you know, I'll flip that over into the second one. Um, and then the finished compost will go in the third one. This has some like areas back here where we kind of store branches and stuff I just trimmed recently. Back there is my strawberry bed. This is my daughter's fairy garden. So I let her plant whatever. We've got garlic and corn and cucumber and tomato and zinnias and poppies. And we got a little, little fairy area down here. Our water barrel. Got canna lilies that have been coming up here for the last 30 years. Um, here are the two giant pallet beds. Uh, they're each 60 cubic foot that I made earlier this year. And the trellis that's going over top. I did picture this lush thick tunnel. We did lose 80% uh, of our squash though to vine bores, so not quite. But the ones that are in here are doing awesome. So the uh, these are honeydew and cantaloupe right next to it. They're just starting to get some fruit, so I'm excited about that. And then further down here, I've got one or two watermelon that are kind of struggling to get with the program. I think it's the new soil might have been a little more compacted, but uh, these cucumbers are rocking it. Got about three plants on this side. Um, and they're just, uh, they're pretty heavy with cucumbers right now. So that's great. And come around to the side here. In the back, um, I've got to tie some of these up. I grow a lot of this stuff vertically, including the sweet potato back here. So normally people let sweet potato run as ground cover, but what I found is it roots, it sets out roots, and those sweet potatoes from those roots are usually kind of tiny. So to concentrate all the energy towards the main crop, I started trellising these up, these uh, uh, bamboo trellises. Got a neighbor that put out some bamboo, and I snagged it. Here's some more cucumber. It's a nice tomato back there. It's, uh, it's got some pretty good sets going on. This is a big uh, beefsteak tomato plant potted with some basil. A bunch of basil in the bottom of these pots. Some eggplant, more cherry tomatoes. These are my two big volunteers that come back every year, so they're just self-seeding every year. I just uh, one of them's black cherry, and the other one's uh, tomato. I don't know, some type of tomato. Here's the broccoli; it's kind of on its way out. We got garden beans down here, some uh, Blue Lake bush beans, and this is the corn for this year. So this is strawberry corn, so they're small ears, um, but a lot more ears on each plant, maybe three or four on each plant. It only gets about five or six feet high. Um, and what's great is this is the kind of corn you can use for popping. So this is what my kid picked out this year, and uh, it's doing pretty good. Tassels are just opening up here. And uh, what's nice, early in the morning, you know, you could see a lot of the a lot of the bumblebees that we have that love these plants. Some more beans, tomato. I got a blueberry over there, but I think I locked my fence, so I'm not going to go on the other side here. We got zinnias, um, some cleomes, and sedum. In this bed here, we got uh, more tomatoes and eggplant, uh, beans in the front. Again, the sweet potatoes that we're trying to grow as vertical as possible. Got a banana pepper down here that is the size of a banana. And some dill, and then over here are some bell peppers. Um, it's a little slow to start, but usually towards September they, they boom out a lot. Got a ton of uh, cherry tomatoes on this side. And then over here we have more sweet potato, tomatoes. I got a stripey tomato somewhere in the mix. We're actually walking behind the trellises here, but I actually wanted to show you guys we're getting a bunch of watermelons. So I got one coming up over here. I got two. Got another guy over here. 
And then actually I extended this trellis across to start capturing the other ones. So more beans on this side. Back in here, maybe you could see it. We got a bunch of uh, chili peppers. These are Biker Billy um, 12 alarm chili peppers. So they're actually doing pretty good. Some garden salsa ones that got planted a little late so they're a little, a little slow to go. But these watermelon over here are doing pretty good. And I've got uh, some more tomatoes. These cucumbers that I potted, I thought they were melons, but they're cucumbers. Uh, but they're doing great in these pots. So we just trellis them nicely over here. This is the uh, the lone wolf over here, the last squash plant I have. You can see it got thrashed by vine borer, but it, it managed to live. So I've got one male flower and one female flower right over here. And uh, hopefully, hopefully that's enough to get me one more squash. This was where the carrots were. Um, but that's it. So that's the garden as she stands today. And I just wanted to give you guys that update. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I um, build, I build all my own trellises. Um, except for that metal one, of course. But I build all my own trellises and I built these uh, pallet beds. So, yeah. And if there's any videos you guys want me to make, you know, I just kind of take these... Um, awful cell phone videos because I like to share an update of the garden but um, you know I'll try harder if you want me to uh, if you want me to make any specific videos let me know um, what else do they say oh like the video right subscribe um, and check me out on Instagram Garden State Greens um, and I also have a blog but it's it's only got one article on it but if you visit it I'll write more um, that's uh, gardenstategreens.blogspot.com uh, Oh, and there's a citronella. All right, guys. Well, I'm hoping you're having a good summer. Uh, let me know what you got growing and uh, what you're most excited about. And yeah, that's it. I have a water barrel. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I like it.